right my name is Ashwat and I'm a legal intern at Lexus and Company. In this video, I'm going to talk about the copyright infringement in India. Uh, with, the rising, with the rise of creating and owning the intellectual property in the contemporary world, intellectual property rights came into being to protect the original work created by author creator. One of the subjects of the intellectual property rights is copyright. It is covered under the Copyright Act 1957. The Act provides protection to such creation from being infringed by any person other than the creator that exploits such work without gaining the explicit permissions of the creator himself. The kind of protection also fosters the environment of creativity by encouraging current and potential creators to keep creating in future. Um, then with the um, in this video, I will be also discussing the criminal liabilities that are envisaged in the Act since it has been rightly acknowledged by the legislators that copyright infringement is not just limited to loss of monetary value and demanding damages through a civil suit is barely enough and therefore the criminalization of copyright infringement is more than necessary to prevent loss of credibility, reputation, goodwill of an organization from literal theft. Um, so the question comes is what is it copyright and what copyright constitutes infringement? The WIPO that is World Intellectual Property Organization defines copyright as a legal term that describes the rights that authors have or creators have in their artistic and literary works. Works as used uh, is really from books, painting, music, sculpture, film, film, uh, etc. Under copyright, there are certain exclusive rights that are vested in the copyright. Um, copyright owner, that is the right to write to produce, reproduce, then distribute, the right to display, to perform, to uh, pr protect work, and to make derivative works. Um, in broadly speaking, copyright infringement happens when any of the following occurs. That is, firstly, using of exclusive rights vested in the copyright owner, either in relation to the whole copyright work or a substantial part of a copyright work in without getting authorization secondly deriving of by providing a place to be used for infringing purposes thirdly trading or importing infringement copies of copyright work secondly deriving profit by providing a place to be used for infringing purposes and thirdly trading and or importing infringement copies of a copyrighted work which includes delayed and distributing such work. For all these mentioned acts, there are criminal liabilities that are imposed on the infringement via the act. Considerably, there are criminal remedies as well in the act that are provided in the rightful order of the such, such copyright work. These criminal remedies include fines, imprisonment, seizing infringements, copies and delivering infringed copies to rightful owner. Uh, and I conclude this by saying that criminal liabilities coupled with criminal sanction under the act is a step taken in the right direction, especially in the light of changes brought by in Bilai Copyright Amendment Act 2012. The legislative intent behind the criminal sanctions is to punish offences of the particular gravity accordingly with the help of varied items, varied terms of uh, imprisonment and fines. By order of seizure and delivering infringement copies to rightful owner depending on the seriousness of the crime. Mm -hmm.